Hello guys, welcome to Drill's Point. This video we will be focusing on explicit weight. As we have already discussed about synchronization, we use explicit weight when we need to mention for the amount of time for which the system has to wait. Now let's see the uh, let's see in detail about the explicit weight. So we use explicit weight when we need to wait for a certain condition to occur before we move on further. It is mainly used when we want to click an object or act an object once it is visible. Say, this is my uh, input box. Right? I need I need to enter some you know some value into this input box when I would be able to enter the value once the object is visible, right? So in such cases, we need to use explicit weight. Now, how we can actually use it? For using explicit weight, we have two options. Either we can use it using the web driver weight class or we can use it using the expected condition class. These two are the ways, these two are the classes provided by Selenium in which we can use uh, explicit weight. Now, it is used to it is used to set waiting time for a particular instance only. See, unlike the thread.sleep method, which was putting the entire system to sleep. This wait is, is for a particular amount of time. Like we can have like 10 seconds or 5 seconds, right? Now let's see in our code, how do we actually do it? So this is a small code. You know, I have taken a web element. I have taken the object of the web element. Now I'm putting the web driver wait. How? By putting the driver to wait for, this is the amount of time for which I want the driver to wait. Then I'm asking it for till what time do you want the system to wait until expected condition. I'm passing the condition that is till this element, till the presence of element located. Like we were having the find element in a similar way for weights. We have a method that is presence of element located. We can use here any, uh, any locator that we want. I am using the ID. So for this case to run, I should have an input box whose name in the whose ID in the HTML should be like this dynamic element. Now, once this element is available on the HTML DOM, then only this condition would be passed true. Now, what is the use of having this? I have set this driver to wait for 10 seconds. Is the driver sitting idle? No, the driver, the total wait time, if it's, it's 10 seconds, in this case, the driver is checking after every 500 milliseconds for the occurrence of this element on the page. If in case the element is found, if it, it is, if the value is successful or if the element is found, it returns true or else it returns a timeout exception, right? Now, the, what is the use of this, what the use of uh, explicit uh, weight is the best part is that the driver is waiting and, and it's not constantly looking for a particular element. It is doing its whatever action it is supposed to do and it is pulling after every X amount of time. That is saving the cycle of our system. So now what this code is doing, this is explained over here. This waits up to 10 seconds before throwing a timeout exception or if it finds the element will return within the zero to, uh, zero to 10 seconds. WebDriver wait by default calls the expected condition, like this was the expected condition, right? After every 500 millisecond until it is returned successfully. A successful return value for the expected condition function type is a Boolean and it is the true value or if not, then it returns a non-null object. So now to, you know, to summarize this driver or this weight would put the driver to wait for say X amount of time would keep on polling for 500 milliseconds till it finds the element that has been passed in the expected condition. Once the element is found within the 10 seconds, it returns true or else it returns uh, a timeout exception. Now let's quickly go to our Eclipse in our system and see the working of explicit weight. Guys, uh, 
so guys hello and welcome back again uh, like uh, we have already seen you know about uh, the theory about the explicit demos and you know how we uh, work with weights why do we need to use weights now let us have a practical you know demo where we would be seeing the actual working of the explicit demo so for this purpose i request you to kindly open up your eclipse and in the eclipse uh, i have created a project as explicit weight demo i go to, down to the project and into the src folder i create a new package right so i name this package as com dot uh, demo right dot wait and i click on finish into this particular package i create actually a different class so i name this class as explicit wait demo right obviously i would be needing the main method you know to just perform the operations and here in the main method so you know everything is all set now i will start the very first thing that i need to do over here is to set the property so which property i have to set i have to set the property that is web driver dot geco dot driver now what is the path is the path is supposed to be passed over here so i have already placed this driver over here you know so i'll just uh, write the name of this driver you obviously can use the driver that you want like uh, you know the location and the name like whatever you have in your own system right so web driver driver equal to new marante driver so it's giving an error because I have to import the web driver. So I import the package. Now what I'm supposed to do is over here, you know, uh, I'll uh, assert this condition, you know, like this condition that I'm supposed to add. I'll be adding it uh, to wait for a particular, you know, page. Like say this is my uh, practice page. I will wait for this particular title to appear, you know, till this title is there. Till then I'll wait you know and once the title is confirmed and I'm able to continue then I'll be continue with the execution of my particular script. So what I need to do is I need to first get what I'm supposed to get the URL of the page. I come down to the next line and here I initialize or I get a new wait. So how I get that? So we have a class that is web driver wait. I name it as wait equal to new web driver wait. So for here, you know, I have to mention the driver which is supposed to wait and the timeout in seconds. I'm mentioning the timeout as 30 seconds. So what I'll do is I'll also include this in try and catch. So if it's timeout exception, then I'll be printing. Uh, are you sure the element is present? If in case there is some other exception, I'll uh, add a, you know, the super exception that is the exception class itself, E, and we'll add the same text or I'll just print the stack trace over here, E dot, print stack trace, right? So once I am done with this one, you know, I'll come out and I'll uh, wait for the particular like you know if the, if it works on fine then i need to pass the condition for what i'm supposed to wait i'll say wait dot we have a clause which is until in the in the until one we pass the condition so uh, i am passing it as expected conditions now what is the condition that i'm having it is title contains right so what is my title currently it is selenium automation practice form right so i'll just copy this one uh, and then we'll wait for this particular you know text to be appear in my page and once it has done like you know if it is executed uh, like uh, accurately then i'll have a sys out saying that the title of the page is driver dot get title 
the title right so now let me quickly you know like run this uh, particular uh, project and see uh, how it behaves so there is a new instance of firefox which is up and running so the page is loading yes so the title of the page is selenium automation form you know like now it it didn't wait for 30 seconds because you know like we had passed that you know till this condition is fulfilled at that point break right now say that uh, this was a true condition so we you know couldn't compare now let us go to this page itself the by default landing page tutorials point and now run this one here you will see that you know the driver will wait for 30 seconds before it throws an exception see the page is loaded but it is still waiting right and why is it waiting it is waiting for it will wait for 30 seconds till it you know gives an error or the exception yes it's timeout are you sure the element is present and then it is printing the entire title of the page in similar way you know we can have multiple expected conditions you know uh, wherein we can uh, wait for a particular element this is only a case of what you can wait for a particular element to appear and you know hence so on and henceforth so guys that was all from our side for explicit wait i hope you enjoyed the session and thank you all for tuning in